It decided to rain, man. On a Friday. Is that a bitch? So I see a lot of people making a big deal about Wilder being silent. Wilder What the fuck? Not sure what's going on with my camera, but oh well, it is what it is. Actions speak louder than words. Wilder said what he needed to say. Why does he need to say any more? Why? Why should I talk to somebody who I felt cheated me, tried to basically kill me? You see the prints in the gloves, you can say what you want. You can say then didn't cheat, I don't care. I'm not here to argue with you about that. I already know what I see. And I already know dude's been exposed for being a cheater, so it doesn't matter. Right? This ain't the first time, so I mean, come on, man. Anyways, I'm not even going to say that he would have uh, lost. I'm not saying Fury would have lost if he didn't cheat. That's not, I'm not saying Fury won because he cheated. The fact is, he did cheat, though. You can deny it all you want to, but, you know, it's right in front of your face. You see the knuckles through the thing. But it was photoshopped, right? So why did dude take it down? Why the professional person who took the pictures, why they take it down if it's photoshopped? You know what I mean? Get out of here with that, man. Anyways, why does Wilder need to speak to Fury? Why? If you cheated me, let's say it's all legit. Even if he didn't cheat, let's just say I'm not the type to talk shit. I don't want to talk shit. I just want to get this press conference over and fight you. Why do I got to speak to the, the fighter and listen to him talk and say all these dumbass things? Or, even worse, talk to the press and have them twist my words and, you know, the heavy suit and all this bullshit. Like how they twisted that shit up. Wilder gets it now. Regulate your thoughts. Don't get caught up in the mix because the media is full of dirty tricks like Tupac told you. Wilder gets it now. I'm not going to say too much. Because they'll just twist my words around. Just like the I'm, I want to catch a body thing. It's funny how that got twisted around too. You know what I mean? Wilder's smart, if you ask me. Because he didn't let uh, Fury... Fury wanted Wilder to talk. So really it's a defeat for Fury. Everybody said Fury won the press conference. No, he didn't. Because Fury actually wanted Wilder to talk. So he can do his little bullshit that he got, his little circus that he always do. Everybody talking about it was ghetto. It was ghetto for Wilder to wear headphones, but it's not ghetto for Fury to come in a uh, press conference with a Batman suit. Oh, I forgot. Coincidental list. My bad. I mean, not the coincidental list. Privilege list. My bad. I forgot. That's not ghetto, though. It's not ghetto showing up to a, a boxing conference wearing, look, basically with your hat turned all backwards and shit. Looking like a, a smoked out crackhead. That's not ghetto either though, huh? People are hypocrites, man. All they see is uh, uh, race. They don't see people. And that's their problem. If it was flipped and that was Wilder's fist in them damn gloves, them motherfuckers be saying all type of shit, man. Also, Wilder didn't even bring up the gloves first. A white dude in Canada did. So stop with that bullshit too. Oh, Wilder, Wilder started talking about the gloves. Wilder didn't even bring up the gloves. A white dude in Canada brought up the gloves first. Because you know why? Because you can't do things in the dark and then not come to the light. So your boy Fury, you know, just getting exposed. That's all. He been exposed. He been exposed for cheating, man. The sad part about it is he doesn't even have to cheat. He's good enough not to, but you know. Anything to get that little edge, I guess, huh? Especially when you like power, and then all of a sudden you got power. Or is that just because bare knuckles, knuckles are hitting somebody, and that's why they're bleeding like that? Despite the ear, of course. That's another thing people overlook, the ear. 
people forget dude had a bleeding ear. That could have had something to do with him stumbling around and all that other shit too. Never know. It might be Fury with a bleeding ear this time. You never know what happens in boxing. So for all these people, uh, this fight's nothing. Write him off. Nobody wants to see it, y'all. I don't even want to see Wilder fight nobody but Fury. If he fight this, if he fought somebody else, if it ain't AJ, I don't even want to see him fight AJ until he fights Fury. I'm not interested in any other fight with Wilder unless it's with Fury. That's just how I feel about it. But everybody got their own opinions, right? Anyways, man, why should Wilder... If, if, if you felt somebody cheated you and tried to basically kill you or was willing to, if they if they could, in the ring, would you want to talk to them at a press conference knowing they just going to be some circus acting motherfucker? Would you want to play around with this person? Or would you be ready to put your hands on them? So therefore, you better not say too much because they might say something to make you put your hands on, on them and there goes your fucking payday. Nobody thought about that part though, huh? That's how I know people are a bunch of casuals and, and think with their feelings instead of logical thinking. Why does it matter if Wilder spoke or not? What does this do for you? Oh, so you can go type like keyboard warriors and say some shit that Wilder said this. <laughs> That's why, right? You just like the damn media. Except for you don't even get paid for it. You don't even get paid for the gossiping like a female. Like the media do. That's the sad part. At least get paid for the shit if you go gossip like a female. Just saying. Let me make this shit perfectly, perfectly clear, though. I personally feel like... Um... Fury didn't need a cheat to beat Wilder, but he did. I, I feel like he didn't need to do it. He just did it. And I know why he did it. Because he needed the bare knuckles or whatever, the sliding glove shit to make his knuckles more bare. Because that's the only way he can match the so-called power of Wilder. And it still ain't matching Wilder's power, but it kind of puts him on an even playing field with somebody who has power like Wilder. Fury got put in a coma last time. Make no mistake about it, remember? But they're not going to admit it. Even if Fury came out and said, yeah, I cheated, they're not going to admit that. Because this is a, a bit, this is like, like, like people say, it's just Wilder haters. It's not Fury fans. So this is a victory for them. They, they can't let that go. You know what I mean? They don't like Wilder for whatever reason. Could be his color. Could be a lot of things. Who knows? People, a lot of, you know, a lot of men just hate on other men in general. Success. That's probably what it is more than anything. I'm not going to say color don't have nothing to do with it. Because you got a lot of black dudes hating on Wilder too. A lot of it be success, man. You know, that's why Floyd's hated so much. Because he has the most success. Speaking of that Floyd shit. Y'all seen him knock Logan out. He said, oh, hell no. Nah. Let me hold you up, dog. You got to last this whole fight. We, we got money on this shit. Or maybe Floyd didn't want to knock him out. So y'all sheep. The sheeple out there, the ones that are that think Fury didn't cheat, you can show them something right in their face and they still deny it. The sheeple don't understand that if Floyd makes himself look vulnerable against Logan, that opens up opportunity to fight the brother because the sheeple want to see Floyd lose. So, oh, he almost lost to Logan. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to get the next one. His brother's better. He's going to get that one. Nope. He's going to win that and he probably going to knock that one out. Fury, or, uh, why, or Mayweather probably going to knock the brother out. Mayweather just playing vulnerable so y'all can uh, buy into the next fight, just like he was doing with Conor, hope, hoping for a rematch, you know what I mean? Like, shit, they think almost lost to Conor and all this. And the sheep will fall for it, man. Just like the sheep will think Spence or Crawford is scared of each other. It's just stupid shit. Could be a lot of reasons why. They probably already know pretty much when they're going to fight. Like what year? They just let it build up, trying to get the most money they can out of it. As long as y'all still thirsty for the fight, I guess there's really no need. I guess it builds. I don't know how the shit works business wise, but you see what happened with Floyd and uh, Pacquiao by waiting longer. You see what happened with that shit. The whole thing could have been a uh, farce, saying that Pacquiao didn't want to take a test and Floyd scared all that. They could have just let that shit ride. 
So y'all keep building up that fight, man. These are businessmen, but y'all don't get that part though. Y'all just sit on the couch and play PlayStation. That's why you're not. That's why you're not in a position. Because you, you don't have the minds. You don't have the mind. You don't understand there's levels to this shit. You don't even understand the the business side of boxing. You really think people who are boxers are really scared of people? I don't think so. They might be worried, like, I really want, this this guy might beat me. But I don't think they're scared. They wouldn't be boxers if they were scared to fight, man. Come on, now. Dead serious. Ooh, Wilder looks scared, man. He, he didn't even say nothing. What is he supposed to say, man? He already said what they're always going to say. You cheated me and then nobody got time for that. So y'all can twist the words and shit. Nah, fuck that. We ain't even got to talk no more. I already said I said I was going to cut his head off. I'm going to take his head off. Ain't that what Wilder said? Man, I don't know what's up with this fucking thing, man. Ain't that what Wilder said? I'm going to take his head off. What more do I need to say? I don't need to sit around and gossip like a female. I told you how I felt. Now get me out up here. I'm ready to fight. Just imagine if you really feel like somebody cheated you and all these things trying to take your life. You just can't wait to get your hands on them. You ain't got time to talk to them in no damn press conference. It's just required for you to show up to the press conference, I guess. Not sure about that, but more than likely it probably is. Oh, Fury want to stare down. Wilder's going to lose. So every person that looked away or walked away, maybe Wilder was about to put his hands on the motherfucker. Have you ever thought of that? Think about it. If somebody tried to take your life and you're just staring there in a stare down, at some point, you're probably like, I'm ready to put my hands on this motherfucker right now. Let me go. Oh, but Wilder's so scared. It's stupid. They even said he was scared of the, in the rematch. That's why he lost. He knew he lost when he went in. Why would he take the fight if he knew he lost? If he knew he couldn't beat the dude, he would have just took the draw and ran with it. Y'all sound stupid. It wasn't in his contract. Unlike Fury, who was trying to actually literally literally run and fight Joshua. But we're not going to talk about that. Huh? People kill me, man. Why would Wilder fight Fury again if he was so scared? I personally believe... He was paid off, i be honest with y'all. I know they're cheating and all that shit. But the reason why I say paid off is because they build up certain athletes, you know, particularly in this case, a black athlete. And then in February, they take them down. They did the same thing with Cam Newton. You know, they did the same thing with Mike Tyson back in the day. I believe a lot of this shit be already fixed or paid off in some way. That's why I say I show pictures all the time of when uh, Wilder took the mask off. You can see he was pissed off. Why? Why are you mad? You about to get in a boxing match. What you mad for? Oh, because he knew he was going to lose. He would have never took the fight if he thought he was going to lose. They probably paid his ass off, man. Black History Month. Shaming blacks in February. They build a motherfucker up that looks like he can't be destroyed, right? And then they take that giant down that they build up. They did the same thing with Cam Newton and all the others, man. See, I'm on a whole nother level when it comes to these sports. It's entertainment to me, but make no mistake about it. I know the invisible hand. See, I'm not a sheeple. I see the invisible hand. In fact, the whole Fury thing, them punches in the first fight where Fury fell down didn't even look clean to me. So maybe, you know, maybe Wild is part of the brotherhood. You, this is your beat down to get in the brotherhood right here. You got to lose the Fury, but you're going to be a very, very rich man. And now Fury's about to get his ass beat. They're going to let Fury get his ass beat now. And they might try to get a fourth fight. Because that's exactly, if if Wilder wins, which, uh, if it's what I'm thinking, like how I say the hit in hand, that means it's time for Fury to lose, dog. So they can open doors for that fourth fight. Y'all don't understand this shit, man. Y'all just don't, man. It's a sad thing, but hey, I, that's why I thank God that he lets me see certain things. You know what I mean? I've been kind of had a feeling about this shit. Ever since that, they came out with the black, black, black everything, black magic, puffing everybody up. Ooh, the black Superman, Deontay Wilder. And what happened? They they made his ass get dethroned by the so-called Roman King, motherfucker. 
The black Superman got the throne by the Roman king. You think them costumes are coincidental? Nah, these sports and shit, man, they be on some some fake ass theater shit, but we not I'm not even gonna go there with y'all. You know, because you know, I just like talking boxing and shit because I feel like it's entertainment. But if I go there with y'all for real, for real, y'all gonna think I'm crazy as some conspiracy theorists. That's why I don't even go there with a lot of y'all. Some people know. Some people know about the, the numerology and all this shit, but a lot of y'all, y'all still sleep, so I can't even tap into it with y'all like that. So I just keep it on the level of how y'all understand boxing, you know what I'm saying? So what I was doing earlier. Let's just go back to how y'all think it is. Shit, I wouldn't be surprised if motherfuckers have a, a fake homicide of Fury. And make Fury... Uh, Go hide off somewhere, grow some hair and all type of shit. You know, initiate to the brotherhood, fake as that. Who knows, man? I'm trying to tell you, man. Should be crazy. But uh, that black history thing is a real thing, man. They build them black superhero athletes up and they make them fall in, in February, dog. These are facts. That's because when you look at ha black history in history, like later on, your your grandsons and all that, they're going to look back and they're going to see that that happened to Wilder in Black History Month. See, that's a way of basically sprinkling salt on Black History Month. If it's what I think it is, the hidden hand, you know what I mean? You know who the hidden hand is, the higher-ups. Same reason why Andre Ward didn't lose, even if it was a draw, or even if he did edge it out. They probably weren't going to let him lose that because they didn't want him to lose that. Or because maybe there's too much money to be lost, so therefore he couldn't lose that. See that, too? That's another thing. But that's why that Wilder thing was a draw, too. And why we on that Wilder draw shit? Oh, no. Nah, Fury just did, he He destroyed Wilder. He won every round. You casual, man. Every round, Fury, get, you giving Fury every close round, I can see that. I can see the first round for sure, I think, could go to Wilder. It could go to Wilder or Fury. A lot of those rounds in that first fight could have went either way. But nope. Every round went to Fury, right? Even the referee said Wilder won the fight. Same referee that plead for Fury to get up. Get up. But anyway, that shit kind of looked funny. Look how Fury was laid down flat, and then he just woke up like that. Get out of here with that shit, man. Shit look fake to me. I don't give a fuck what y'all say. As far as the eardrum shit, I don't know. In wrestling, they make the motherfuckers bleed out the blue. So don't think it can't happen in boxing, motherfucker. Just saying. Y'all ain't ready for this talk, bro. Y'all not ready for this talk, bro. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ah, laugh all you want. Be sheep all your life. I don't give a fuck. All I know is there's money in this motherfucker. You know what I mean? And wherever there's money, there's smoke and fire. I mean, smoke. And wherever there's smoke, there's fucking fire, dog. You think them motherfucking higher-ups are going to lose their money? To make your ass feel like you watching a real fight or a real football game or a real this or that, you gotta be smoking dope. If it's a, if it's if it boils down to them losing money, oh, you gotta lose this fight, dog. You gotta lose this fight, bro. We gonna pay you good. We gonna pay you good. But you gotta lose this fight, and that's probably what's gonna happen to Fury either way. Either way, even if, even if um. Either way, if it's real or not, Fury's going to lose, I feel. I feel he's going to lose if it's real because I feel like he cheated, you know. But at the same time, I feel like maybe all this shit is a fucking setup to make us all engouged in into it. You know what I mean? That's part of um, entertaining a product, you know what I'm saying? But either way, if it's real, I feel like he loses. And if it's set up, he's going to lose because it's going to be... It's too much money, man. Everybody money gonna be on Fury. Cause they made Wilder look like he was nothing the last fight, and then they'll flip her and make Fury look like he's nothing. And then you'll you'll want the fourth fight. Bob Barron already told you they was gonna fight three times before it even happened. Before the first fight even happened, he said Fury and Wilder was gonna fight three times. How does he know this? Cause he knows that hidden hand. Bob Barron is part of that hidden hand, the higher ups. You don't get that type of money and you just, nah. You don't get to operate like that unless you're dealing with some higher ups, dog. 
But let me shut up, man, because, you know, I don't, I don't want to wake the sheep up and become a target or some shit. You know what I'm saying? You know, let the sheep stay asleep. They don't listen anyway. They laugh and shit and think what I'm saying is some bullshit. That's why they sheep them. So it is what it is. Can't help them, you know? All you can do is pray for them. Anyways, dog, trust me, man. Too much money going to be on Fury. Too much money going to be on Fury. That's probably why they said, don't say nothing in the prayer conference. Look like and walk away first. We got to have you walk away first. And we're not going to have you say nothing. We're going to try to make it seem like maybe you're scared or worried or something like that. Or you back down from Fury and all that. They know what the fuck they're doing. They know what they're doing, bro. Just like the Kovalev and uh, Canelo shit. Trying to build Kovalev Canelo up. Come on, man. Shit fake, man. Kovalev could beat C Canelo. I'm going to fuck what y'all say. He wasn't even fighting the same. He wasn't even fighting his fight, man. He took that payday like shit. I already took my L award. Kovalev like shit. I already know this shit uh, stage now. Because cause the way they did me with war, they could they could at least gave me a draw. Kovalev know the truth now. Like, fuck it, man. Just give me some money. Let me get the fuck up out of here, man. I'll take the loss of Canelo. <laughs> The shit real fake anyway. It don't matter if I beat him anyway. Y'all gonna give it to the one y'all think is the most profitable. So therefore, yeah, let me let me just take I'll take this L for my highest payday. So y'all not hearing me though. Y'all not hearing me. In the end, it's gonna be Joshua. And I think it's gonna be Joshua and Wilder. I think Fury's gonna lose. They all gonna have an L. Make it back to even playing field again, you know what I mean? But uh, Fury definitely going to lose, man. Real or fake, he going to lose, man. Real or fake, he going to lose. You'll see. I already said that, man. When Wilder lost the last fight, I said they was going. That's why Fury said himself. Don't worry. He'll be champion again. How the fuck does Fury know this? How does Fury know Wilder's going to be a champion again? Remember, he said that at the post fight. Don't act like y'all didn't see that. How does he know? What about the after the first fight? Now that's what you call pay-per-view. As if it was some show or some shit. I'm telling y'all, man. Believe what y'all want. Oh, but but he, he punched on him. That's why it's real. Yeah, motherfuckers, wrestlings take take uh punishment shit too. But they get paid a whole lot of money for that punishment. You put your body through punishment and get paid way less money than them. You think they won't? A lot of y'all claim, oh, for $10,000, i will let somebody beat my ass. But you claim nobody else will do it. You claim in a professional athlete, a boxer, who's used to getting beat on, you saying he wouldn't do it, but you will? Sitting on a couch eating potato chips? Come on, dog. Make it make sense. If you're willing to do it from the fucking couch eating potato chips, you trying to tell me Lennox Lewis and motherfuckers like that wouldn't take a little L beating for some money? Come on, man. Of course they will. These football players, too. Oh, they would have told by now. Why would they tell if this is how they get a bag? For what? Matter of fact, if I tell, I might be dealing with that hidden hand. That hidden hand could throw a rape charge on you. That hidden hand could take your life. See that? That's why they don't say nothing. Uh, plus, some of them already bitten the forbidden fruit. And if they say something, they got you. We already got you. We already got proof that you sold out to us and was willing to lie to the public. What they going to do? Uh, uh, I lied to y'all. I'm sorry. You know, even though that Buccaneer, uh, what's his name, the MVP for a Super Bowl said it was fake. He said it was fake. He said it, whoever Vegas wants to win will win the Super Bowl. I forget his name. Uh, 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 they, he was the Super Bowl MVP against the Raiders. He plays. He played for the Bucks, and he said the shit was fake, man. And people still laughing it off and all this shit, man. It's just sad. It ain't sad to me though, because the truth sets me free. The truth sets you free, but the lies is what bonds people. That's why y'all so fighting at each other and over some shit that ain't even as real as you think it is. Hating motherfuckers and shit. Hate each other over shit that ain't even as real as you think it is. That's why. Because you're bond. That shit's bonding you to it. Fucking sports entertainment and shit. Motherfucker be mad for six months because his team lost the Super Bowl. Not realizing sometimes they got to lose it because too much money. Bondage. 
not getting your life together because you want to sit around and watch a sport that's probably predetermined nine times out of ten a lot of the games and, and fights and shit bondage but anyways man y'all have a good one and um yeah man I mean if, if the shit is 100% real why would you want to talk to somebody who you think try to hurt you and even if he didn't try to uh, cheat and all that if you focus, like, man, I'm not losing no more. I don't want to lose no more. Fuck that shit. I'm going to beat this motherfucker. I don't want to play your game at your little press conference wearing Batman suits and shit. Nobody got time to argue with you. Think about it. You 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 got a problem with somebody you know out here in the real world. Do you really want to talk to them like a fucking girl? Or do you want to just put your hands on them and get it over with? How is that weak? The weak one's the one that want to talk and shit and try to play mind games, try to defeat you before I get in the ring is what they call it. That's what's weak to me. You want to play all these games and shit. But Wilder didn't let him have none of that energy. That's He did the best thing. Wilder did the best thing. Don't give Fury no energy at all. Don't let him know what you're thinking. None of that. Trust me, man. Wilder won that press conference. By being silent, silent as gold, like the Bible say. I don't gotta say nothing. Why I gotta say something to you? You already know how I feel about you. Why I gotta say it again? So you can get your little rocks off saying your little stupid shit you're gonna say. So your little press and your privileged team, you know what I mean, can quote shit in papers and shit about what mis mis twisting my words and shit. Yeah. Wilder said he didn't know what happened. I think maybe the suit was too heavy or something like that. And he was stumbling around. Y'all seen it like he was fucking drunk. You know it. But you know what, man? It ain't even worth it, man. Because, you know, a lot of people, they just want to see, they wanted to see him lose. Doesn't matter, man. Fury could have came in with a shotgun. Bow. It don't matter. They just wanted to see Wilder take the L. That's all that mattered to them. Because they, they, they bait him. You know, they bait him, man. They hate to see successful men. Unless, of course, they they riding the dick of the uh, the one that's successful. You know, other than that, like if they don't like a guy, there's a plenty of people I don't like that are successful. I don't hate on them, though. Shit, I might get a little inspiration from them. Like, man, I'm trying to be better than that dude, man. Instead of hating on them. I don't hate success. You got to love it. When you see men successful, you got to love that shit, dog. So, so it could be part of you. Why you want to wish somebody else bad? How you going to be good and you wishing everybody else bad? You know what I mean? Come on, man. The, the universe knows your thoughts and energy, dog. Come on. Can't hide from the universe, dog. And that's another thing. If you're a cheated, trust me. That's probably why the universe said, nah, you're not fighting AJ. You about to put your ass right here and you about to pay for what the fuck you did. That's how the universe works, dog. Can't hide from the universe, dog. So if you cheated... And put and try to basically didn't care if you hurt some took somebody's life over a boxing match, you know what I mean? The universe seen that. I'm gonna cut the cameras off. Let, let me cut the cameras off. And people are gonna deny that too and laugh about that too. You know what I mean? Oh, but the commissioner was there as if the hidden hand doesn't control control the commissioner too. If the hidden hand won if you read a win, the hidden hand can do that it can make that happen but you know some of these grown ass men want you to live in la la land like uh these things don't happen like the sheep they want you to be sheeple like them don't be sheeple like them anything's possible in this motherfucker huh? anything is possible that's why canelo will not lose right now when, when will Canelo lose? When he's no longer the cash cow and they find a new one. That's when. But as long as Canelo's making boxing all this money, right, and drawing all this attention and shit, they're going to ride that way, just like they did with the Mayweather and all that. Of course, you got to have some skill and all that shit. But, um, look, just make it through the fight, man. That's all we need you to do. So no matter what, Lala beat you. Lara beat you. It don't matter. Just make it through the fight. You got the decision. And I admit the same thing could be said with Mayweather, even though Mayweather pretty much clearly won all his fights. You might have a couple that's super close, 
But for the most part, he clearly won all his shit. But either way, they would have gave it to Floyd anyway because Floyd was the um, the cash cow. He's making the most money for boxing. They can't fuck that up. Only way I would say that it's questionable is when he fought uh, De La Hoya. Because I think, if I'm not mistaken, De La Hoya was making boxing more money, but Floyd was also the up-and-comer. So that's um, even if De La Hoya clearly won... They probably still would have gave it to Floyd because they needed that new cash cow, you know what I'm saying? So that's when you'll see Canelo lose. Unless somebody knocks Canelo out, you know what I mean? That's the only way. Other than that, it's not going to happen. So y'all can keep wishing, but nah, he's the cash cow, so deal with it. He's going to be playing. All they got to do is just make it to the decision, Canelo. We got you. They're not letting him lose. Y'all know it. They had Billy Joe Saunders losing all them damn rounds. Come on, man. A lot of them rounds was toss rounds, bro. Could have went either way. Stop playing. But we know how this shit go, so it ain't, it ain't nothing. Anyway, though, Fury gonna lose, man. The only way I see them letting Fury win, or the only way I see Fury winning, is if it's real, you know, and he just really wins, right? If he didn't cheat and all that, karma's not, karma's not against him. And if he legitimately won without cheating, he has a gr great chance of winning. But if he don't, karma's against him. And he cheated to win, so therefore he can't do it no more, I don't think. Who knows? He might find another way. The only way I see Fury winning is if he legitimately is legitimate and he legitimately wins. Or they want they gonna make if they make Wilder lose, so they can set up that Joshua fight. Let's get Wilder out the way so we set up this Joshua shit. But I don't think that's what's gonna happen. You know, Fury already told you Wilder's gonna be the champion again. He said it blatantly to you, sheep. You didn't listen though, did you? He clearly said it. Them black shaming uh, things in February are real, man. Oh, no, they're not. You pulling a race car. I ain't got time to argue with you, man. Funny how when motherfuckers go to the Pope, though, things happen. Ain't that some funny shit? Kobe Bryant went to the Pope. Look what happened. Uh, Wilder went to the Pope. Look what happened. Other people went to the Pope, and then something happens. I wonder what this is about. Or is this just a coincidence, huh? Like I said, y'all not ready for this type of talk, man. Stick to y'all elementary knowledge when it comes to boxing. Y'all ain't ready for this shit. Because I can, I can come at it all different left ways. Since I don't know everything, and since I don't know what's real and what's fake and all this shit, that's why I give you different scenarios. Because I don't know for sure, but I do know the possible scenarios. It's just when or why are they doing it. I know there's fake fights, but why, when, who, and all this. I know there's real fights, but why, who, who, when, and all this. I know why Crawford might not fight Spence and all this shit yet. Why, who, where, all this shit. Y'all get it. There's always a why, and it's always going down basically to money. What's best for the business of boxing? What is best for the business of boxing? That's what it boils down to, people. Everybody want to get paid. Same thing with the NFL, man. That's why Brady, you knew he was going to win as soon as he went to the fucking Tampa Bay and they was playing Super Bowl in Tampa Bay, man. Get out of here with that. You really believe this, and that's y'all problem, man. Just like you really believe that no black quarterbacks are better in the NFL by now. Out of all these years, they just, they can't do shit. But they good athletes and everything else but the NFL quarterback. And y'all believe that. Because y'all fools. They'd have been better by now. Way better. They would have been won some Super Bowls by now. Oh, but Mahomes and, and Russell Wilson, yep. But look at them. Do they look like Cam Newton? Do they look like um, Deshaun Watson? Huh? And guess what? Here's another thing, my friends, my boxing friends. Jason Watson, oh man, I ain't playing, dog. I ain't playing for y'all. Y'all said y'all was gonna get me protection and you didn't. Oh, you're not playing for us, huh? 
What that hidden hand do, y'all? What that hidden hand do? We got some rape charges for your ass. Yeah, we got you. That's all right, let him go. Let the slave go. Watch this hidden hand, though. You think that shit just came out the fucking blue? As soon as he did that shit, what'd they do? That's what type of power they got. And y'all wonder why, well, he would've, they would've said that it was fake. They would've been said the NFL's fake. That's why they don't say it, motherfucker. Fuck it, just give me my money, man. Hey, man, I'm just trying to get my money feed my kids, man. I don't give a fuck, fuck it. It's entertainment, it is what it is. That's why they don't come out and say shit, man. Look what happened to Watson. It's funny though, Aaron Rodgers does the same thing. No rape charges for him though. Privilege is real, believe that. And I make no excuses because I love my life. I'm doing great being the guy that I am. I like the odds. Call me crazy, but strangely, I love the odds. Shout out Jay-Z. I like being the black dude because when I get when I succeed, I know the odds was against me and I still made it that much more sweeter, dog. All I know is if I was a white dude, I'd definitely take advantage for sure. For sure I would. I wouldn't be sitting back arguing with some black dude about this shit don't exist. Hell no, nah, let me see if this shit exists. Now, if, if I was a white dude, I wouldn't be like racist towards blacks and shit. I'd be like, yes, yeah, that's fucked up that they getting killed. I wouldn't be like all lives matter and all that shit. Nah, but oh, this white shit, this white privilege shit, let me take advantage of this shit for sure. Cause I'm dead and I'd probably help my black friends once I get to the top. But I'm not gonna act like that shit don't exist. Oh hell no, nah. we about to take advantage of this shit. And I'm gonna bring my black friends with me too. That's how I would do it, straight up. Instead of acting like the shit don't exist, you better take advantage. Aaron Rodgers did the same fucking thing Deshaun Watson did. Same thing. Trade me. I don't wanna. I don't wanna keep my contract. Trade me. What's the fucking difference? There is none except for one thing. We all know what that is. Don't give me that bullshit. Tom Brady can yell at people and, and all this shit. Nobody says it's ghetto or nothing. That's just passion. That's just passion how Brady yells at that. Let Cam Newton do it. Oh, he's so cocky. It's ridiculous, man. The Wild Wilder is so arrogant, but Fury can be arrogant as fuck and nobody say nothing. I don't like Wilder because he's so cocky. What is Fury then? What do you call that? Never mind, I forgot. I forgot he's privileged. He's allowed to do it. My bad. I forgot. That hidden hand. <laughs> Shit crazy, dog. I was a Fury fan, man, until um them gloves things, man. Like I'ma say it like this, man. If if Fury didn't cheat, I don't I know he cheated, but if he didn't, somehow, some way, if he didn't. He deserves everything he got. He, he deserves to win and all that shit. But I don't think so, though. I really don't. I really don't. That's why more and more shit comes out that he's cheated before. You know, once it's like a, a storm. The truth's like a flood storm. Once that shit starts rolling down the hill, it's over. You know what I'm saying? Or avalanche, should I say. Once it starts rolling, it's over. You can't stop it. He's already been exposed for steroids and shit. Didn't want to didn't want to fight Klitschko because he probably cheated to beat him the first time. Damn, I can't use my boar meat. Fuck it, man. I'm not fighting Klitschko. I'm gonna I'm use I'm gonna use this drug excuse when really it was boar meat. It wasn't no damn strung out on drugs. But we're not even gonna go there. It's not even worth it. Why even waste our breath? That's why I don't argue with these boxing fans in the comment section, dog. They don't even realize what they do. They don't even know who they ticket stick it up for. They really don't. It's kind of it's kind of comedy if you ask me. I just let them stay in their feelings, you know what I mean? And just shake my damn head like Psh, you dudes is idiots. Straight idiots. Anyways, y'all, I got to get in this gym, man, before I don't feel like going <laughs> But it's raining, so it's kind of like, man, I don't want to get up out of here. But I got to do what I got to do, and I uh, hope all y'all have a uh, good Friday. I don't care, friend, foe, whatever. Racist, not, I don't care. 
you, you're not gonna make me you. So you know, you're not gonna bring me to your energy. I'm still gonna be happy. You'd be all right. You know what I mean? If I didn't love myself, I'd probably be that way too. But uh, yeah, I'm out this motherfucker, man. And don't forget, man. Watson and Aaron Rodgers did the same exact thing, man. Same exact thing. Fury and Wilder do the same exact thing. What is the difference between yelling bomb squad and there's only one Tyson Fury? It's the same fucking thing, man. It's the same fucking thing, dog. How is one cocky but one's not? <laughs> oh, man. People are idiots when it comes to this shit. Or they just racist, man. It is what it is, though. Like I said, your boy Fury gonna lose, man. Real or fake, he gonna lose because the money gonna be too high on him. And that hand, that hand that made that camera cut off for them gloves, that hand not losing no money, not even a fury. It's not happening. That hand wants his money. <laughs> and it's going to be a lot of money. You know what I mean? Unless somehow everybody put their money on Wilder again somehow. I don't think that's going to happen. They know what they're doing, man. I'm out of here, man.